Dr. Raja Kushal Nagar is the IT program director at Gallaudet University, the renowned university for the deaf in Washington, D.C., one of the country's leading experts on the interaction between humans and computers, especially as it relates to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Dr. Kushal Nagar has a very personal interest in the topic, as he is deaf himself. As a deaf person, I have both opportunities and challenges. Dr. Kushal Nagar is also an active member of the Special Interest Group on Computer-Human Interaction, or SIG Hi, of the ACM. Despite that, however, he has never been to a SIG Hi conference, mostly, he says, because the conferences just weren't accessible for deaf people. But a lot has changed recently, and Dr. Kushal Nagar is very much looking forward to attending this year's conference. SIG Chi and the SIG Access ACM Assets Conference are worth the investment to attend because I know they're going to provide access and other people who attend support the same things I'm interested in seeing and learning. ACM has taken many steps to make its conferences, websites, and digital resources more available to people with disabilities. As a case study, we will use the efforts of ACM SIG Chi, which has been especially active in this area. When people with disabilities are included in a professional community like SIG Chi, it makes for much richer dialogues, it makes for better research, it makes for a better community. Dr. Jonathan Lazar is a professor in the Department of Computer and Information Sciences at Towson University in Maryland and one of seven co-authors of a recent report on the benefits of making computing conferences, digital resources, and ACM SIGs more inclusive for people with disabilities. He says several recent moves, like sign language interpreters, captioning for all videos, and ensuring that conference facilities are accessible for people in wheelchairs or scooters, have made SIG High's annual conference much more accessible for people with disabilities who attend and even for those who don't. For the first time at the CHI 2016 conference in San Jose, California, we had telepresence robots. So if you have a disability and were not able to travel, you could sign up in advance to basically drive a robot around the conference. You would take control remotely of the robot. There was camera, there was a microphone, and you could interact with participants. You could go to different sessions. You could attend presentations. Dr. Richard Ladner is a professor of computer science and engineering at the University of Washington. We want to have people with disabilities because they benefit the field. Generally, people with disabilities are problem solvers. They do it every day. And so with that sort of mindset of problem solving, they have a lot of capability in computer science. Cheryl Bergstaller is Director of Accessible Technology Services at the University of Washington. She's also one of the directors of the Alliance for Access to Computing Careers, which helps students with disabilities pursue undergraduate and graduate degrees in computing fields. The field of computing can be more inclusive by making uh, materials accessible, making curriculum accessible, and to be open about uh, recruiting individuals with disabilities. People with disabilities come with unique perspectives about IT development and use, and so they need to be consulted in everything that we do. Field. Natalie Shaheen is a perfect example. So you're constantly problem solving all these little barriers that you come up against. A doctoral student at Towson University who is studying how to better use technology to teach students in various fields, Natalie has been legally blind since birth. She too has noticed and very much appreciates the recent steps that SIG Hi has taken to make the organization more inclusive for people with disabilities. On improving aspects of PDF accessibility specifically related to cheap papers. In particular, making the organization's digital resources, including ACM digital library content, accessible to the blind. By ensuring that things are accessible, both conferences and papers and proceedings, it communicates to people with disabilities, you're welcome here, we want you here. That's a huge message, because that's not a message that we get everywhere. Dr. Lazar, one of Natalie's professors at Towson, very much shares her belief. We need to find ways to bring more people into our community. Echoing the conclusion of his study on the topic, Dr. Lazar says ACM and SIG Chi accessibility initiatives have been a benefit for all of its members, those with disabilities and those without, and he's hoping they will serve as a model for all ACM SIGs. Our mission as the SIG Chi organization should be to try and make sure we are as inclusive as possible, applying what we already know in terms of technical solutions to make 
our organization more inclusive and to make the world of computing more inclusive. To learn more, you can read Making the Field of Computing More Inclusive, a contributed article in the March 2017 communications of the ACM.